Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I would like first to express on, the, on behalf of the government and the people of Honduras our deepest solidarity with the people and the government of Japan due to the unprecedented damages that they suffered with the, with the uh, tsunami and the earthquake in March uh, past. The majority of the regions in the world have suffered ever more frequently the damages caused by natural uh, and social disasters. In the case of Central America, and particularly for Honduras, the natural disaster of major consequences in the last decades uh, was the one that was provoked by Hurricane and uh, Tropical Storm Mitch in 1998. Nevertheless, that was only one of recent phenomena that have been affecting negatively our region with the highest frequency. Uh, this background has resulted in intense measures on behalf of my country with the support of the international community for the reconstruction of the country and for the prevention and reduction of risks. In the national report, in the midterm uh, report presented by our permanent commission for contingencies, COPECO, in October of 2010, it is shown that Honduras has reached reasonable advanced in five of the priorities identified by the Hyogo process, but with limitations on the issues of financial availability and operative capacity. Uh, at the same time, the implementation of institutional commitments uh, still continues to be a high challenge for us. Now, concerning immediate perspectives, we have identified territorial, uh, the territorial uh, aspects as an area in which we have to advance more on decentralization for the reduction of risks, as well on the public-private alliances. The institutions that the Honduran Commission of Contingencies co coordinates are many, but some of them, and I would like to mention the humanitarian network and the national system for the control of risks. Um, and both of them have to do with the prevention and mitigation risk uh, system of natural disasters in place in the country. The effort that Central America has made as a region is significant. Under the auspices of Sepere de NAC, uh, the presidents of Central America adopted this past June, uh, of June of last year, the, the Central American uh, policies for in integrated uh, action on disaster management and they will be meeting at the end of July as well to continue showing the high political will that they, as heads of state of the Central American countries, conferred to this uh, very special uh, situation in our region. I would like to uh, finalize indicating that the government of President Lobo Sosa in his plan of uh, nation that was concerted with civil society in Honduras at the beginning of his administration involving all of the national sectors of the country does include in its main objectives the achievement of a productive Honduras, a generator of opportunities and the dignified employment for the people that will make the best available use of its resources and to reduce the environmental vulnerability. This national objective is in line with the uh, the development goals of the United Nations uh, for the millennium to contribute to guarantee the sustainability of the environment. Uh, yes, one last word. The uh, road that has already been walked since Yokohama and Hyogo has been highly productive. Nevertheless, the capacity building at local level, the uh, roadmap for institutional uh, work and coordination together with the financial resources and the capacity of a regional response together with international policies to avoid the uh, negative effects of climate cha change all continue to be for the moment the most important tasks at hand. Thank you very much, Madam Chair.